Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prav and today we're going to discuss about some interview preparation for pen testing, penetration testing jobs. In this video, we're going to discuss about the different type of penetration testing questions which is asked in the interview. And uh, the feedback I collected from multiple friends who used to take the interviews of the pen testers, so I thought I would, based on that, I'm going to drive this session. My name is Prab Nair and for more information you can refer my LinkedIn profile and if you're new to my channel do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic. So without wasting a time let's start with the first part. So when you're talking about the penetration testing jobs and all that so we have a different type of jobs we have a junior pen testing jobs we have a senior pen testing jobs okay we have a lead pen testing jobs Nowadays, it is changed to red teaming, bug bounty, but by end of the day, it is all about the jobs to uh, to hire the candidates who are going to evaluate the security posture of an organization. So the interview question is also varies from position to positions, actually. Okay, so when you're talking about uh, junior pen testing jobs, they mostly start with the basic questions like uh, what is DNS, what is DHCP, because in order to test those infrastructure you should know what is the concept all about right suppose if i'm going to test my dns server dhcp server i should know how the dns and dhcp works so that's why the interviewer always ask the basic questions on this area like what is dns what is dhcp what is telnet what is netcat what is kali linux what is os what is windows what is linux how this works so this kind of a questions they basically ask so as a as a as you are preparing for this kind of a jobs make sure you should be very good with concepts see you you can be a great expert with the tools you know you know cane enable you know other tools but my suggestion is that if you if you're looking for a career in pen testing for the long lasting you should be good with the concepts okay if i'm telling you what is man in the middle attack before running a tool you should know how the man in the middle attack works how the social engineering works how the session hijacking works so before running for the tool, running behind the tool, first understand how the concepts works, which is a very important thing in this particular scenario. So, so if I go for the junior jobs, they start with these basic questions. Then they basically ask about, you know, we're giving a scenario where you want to test the servers behind the firewalls. Okay, how you basically evade the firewalls. Uh, because in my next video, I'm going to discuss each and every topic in detail. Okay, this is just a high level video where I'm going to discuss about the basic questions. So, you know, they will going to ask you about, you know, there is a scenario where, uh, you know, we just sharing the information about the IP address of the server, then based on that, you need to gather more information about the target. So how you basically do that, uh, you have a very limited tools, or the tools was not uh, you know the tools was not utilized or banned by the company so how you basically do the further testings of that architecture so these kind of a questions they're going to ask in some interview questions they basically test your programming skills how good you are in a python Perl, or java so you need to have a, a good language understanding about python or Perl because these are the scripting tools we are using for running a testings and all that because sometimes you need to prepare some custom scripts to be run against the systems and network you need to have a very good understanding about the networking concepts like what is tcp what is udp because when you're going for the network testing because we have a different type of pen testing right we do os level testing we do network level testing when i say network level testing we try to penetrate the networks we try to move from one network to another network which is called as a lateral movement so you need to have a very good understanding about how the network testing works okay so in the network testing they basically ask about the difference between the stateless firewall stateful firewall because these are the basic concepts we have which basically ask along with that they basically ask the questions on uh, uh, you know how the router switches works what is the thin line difference switch and hub because tomorrow when you're going to test the switches okay in the switch we have a different type of test like you know we do vlan testing okay we do mac flooding and all that so in order to do that you need to know how the switch and router works so network level testings, it start with this kind of questions. And then if you're going for the application level security testing, they will basically ask you thin line difference between the cross-site scripting, cross-site request forgery, you know, how to do cross-site scripting. Cross-site scripting is the client-side attack or server-side attacks. 
okay how to prevent cross site scripting what is the thin line difference between the cross site request forgery or cross site scripting like what is the countermeasures for the cross site scripting how to perform sql injection sql injection is a vulnerability of a of a of a application logic or it's a vulnerability of a database if you want to perform the sql injection if you want to perform the application level attacks how to hide your identities okay so this kind of a questions they basically ask and uh, in some questions, in the, some jobs basically ask you the question from a compliance point of view also. Like, you know, we have a PCI DSS scenarios and according to PCI DSS, we need to do the testing of our infrastructure. Okay, we have a CDS servers, how to test that. Okay, so what is your understanding from a PCI DSS point of view? What is your understanding from an ISO 27000 point of view? What is your understanding from an OWASP point of view? So sometimes they basically ask the compliance based testings because for the senior level pen testing jobs, you need to have a very good understanding about the compliance and all that. So these kind of a question they ask. Sometimes what happen, depending upon the product industry, they basically ask you some product centric questions like, you know, uh, in which phase of the software we basically do the core testing. What is the thin line difference between the static application security testing, dynamic application security testing. Now there's a new concept is coming in the DevSecOps, which is called as a uh, open source testings and all that. Okay, and then we have a IAST, Interactive Application Security Testing. Okay, do you have any expertise on a code review? So these are the questions we have on the product sites. So, you know, it's up to you. Your, your vision should be clear, you know, which area you're going to, you know, target. So if you want to be a master in application security testings with pen testing, then you need to have a good understanding of application, how the application works. If you're moving to the network level, then you need to have a very good understanding about the firewalls okay ids ips because sometimes what happen they will check your capability how you bypass the firewalls how to remain in a stealth mode when you're doing a scanning okay and if you're doing the os level testing you need to have a good understanding of os like linux and microsoft okay but yes by end of the day my suggestion is that you should know concepts first because in most of the interviews they basically ask about the concepts okay i have seen a lot of inter interviews where they ask about how the dns, po DNS poisoning happens what where the DNS hijacking happens, okay, how the Smurf and Fraggle attack happen, okay. Then one of the interesting question they basically ask about uh, uh, this one, which is called as a, uh, how do you upgrade your knowledge, how you upgrade your knowledge about the new vulnerabilities, new threats, okay, new risks. So this is my next videos I'm making on that. So you can check the videos where I have shared this answer. Like, you know, as a security researcher, how you upgrade your knowledge, how you basically upgrade your thread, uh, how you upgrade your new threads, vulnerability details, okay, from which websites, what is your followers, you know, how do you upgrade your knowledge. So there they will basically going to ask your information on that area, how you upgrade your knowledge. So this is a very frequent question has been asked. How you spend your time apart from doing a testing and all that, what is your expertise areas? So these are things which we have. Most important element is that, you know, uh, do follow some good followers on YouTubes and Twitters because when they're sharing their white papers, case studies, you know, you'll get a good idea about what, what is happening in the industries and refer those things because sometimes there is a possibility the interviewer can ask the question from that. Now, recently, there are a lot of interviewers asking a question on log4j vulnerability, SSL portal attack, IC security, how the industrial control system get exploited, what is air gap. So it's not something, okay, we still using an old traditional interview question, okay, what is DNS poisoning, ARP poisoning and all that. You need to have a very good understanding about the, the, the recent threats, recent vulnerabilities and all that. So if you're still looking for a job, make sure you should upgrade your knowledge in these areas, like, you know, new threats we have, okay, so that, you know, get the best understanding of that. Because tomorrow you, they, they might ask you about how to combat the ransomware attack, how ransomware attack works, what is cyber kill chain, Okay, what is uh, what is the purpose of cyber kill chain? How you improve your knowledge on threat intel? Okay, the difference between the white box, black box, gray box. Okay, so this is something you need to know. Okay, my next videos which I'm making, it is basically all about the detailed videos where I'm going to discuss the question and possible answers. Okay, like sometimes what happens, they say what is the first step in the VAPT? You simply start with scanning and information gathering, but in reality, it's not an answer. The first step is basically NDA sign then scoping. Some, some interviews basically ask, do you know how to write pen test reports? What is need to be included in the pen test reports? Okay, so these are the areas they basically test. So it, that the time has gone where they co ask you go technical. 
because no company want to exploit the servers no company want to exploit the network they want a mature consultant who can test the things in such a manner that it should, it it meet their business objective okay so my next videos are basically based on that only where i'm going to discuss each and every question in detail so moral of the story is that pen testing we have in a three four areas network level pen testing application level pen testing os level pen testing in order to pen test this areas in order to learn the pen testing in this area first very important thing is that you need to know the concepts how to pen test because tool can come today it will be a different tool tomorrow will be the different tool but concept remain the same okay so very important in the pen testing you need to be know the concepts if you ask me i know today what is smurf attack what is fraggle attack okay i just need to know which tool is used for that so with the with the help of tool i can do those attacks ha huh, there's a new trend is coming about wireless testing okay where you need to know the difference between the wep wpa wpa2 okay how to exploit wep how to exploit wpa2 what is rogue access point so these are the areas we have that you need to check okay so this is all from my side team hope you find this video useful and do let me know that what is the next video should i make and along with that i am also going to upload two series on the pen testing questions do check that video parallelly with this thank you so much goodbye